Hi, this is Tim from isthisanygood.com and I'm here with a review of the PlayStation Vita. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so um, I'm just going to make this a fairly short review. I'm not going to go into masses and masses of depth. Um, but I'm just going to sort of show you around the PlayStation Vita and um, just give my opinions on it, basically. So first of all, build quality, and um, I think it's very well built. And um, the control system is very easy with the um, double sort of thumb pads, and uh, you've got of your usual kind of PlayStation button set up um, with the uh, familiar triangle, square, circle, and X. And um, the screen is a very nice screen indeed, as you can see. It's a uh, five-inch OLED. Uh, touch screen and uh, as you can see as I just quickly just kind of um, just scroll through with it you can see it's very very responsive indeed and um, it works very very well and really no problems at all build quality wise it's very responsive it's very well built and currently it's it's selling for around sort of 200 pounds um, in the UK or maybe a bit under that and around $250 in the US again you might be able to find it a little bit cheaper so I'm just going to run you through just a few of the features and um, we've already seen the uh, front touch screen if I whip it over very quickly one of the unique features not my face in it um, fortunately is the um, rear touch pad uh, again very very um, sensitive and works really well in the game and um, one of the features about the touchpad and the touch screen is um, that you, it's like a multi-touch so um, the touch screen you can actually touch in two places at the same time and drag things around so it's not you know it is really interactive and very clever the way they've implemented it so some of the actual things that you can get in the actual sort of PlayStation Vita first of all we've got near and uh, just give you a brief overview. It's similar to the friend system, and as you can see on the screen, it's uses use near to find out what people around you are playing. And you can also link up and get your um, each other's IDs, etc. And then obviously uh, play each other online. Um, so it's um, a very uh, well implemented feature. It's a bit better than the uh, Nintendo 3DS um, friend system, and it's implemented with the actual friends as well so the combination of the two works really well and this is where you uh, log all your friend codes etc into the uh, PlayStation Vita so let's have a quick look at that group messaging it says what it you know is really and uh, just pop into there really you can just send messages um, to anyone through that trophies um, self-explanatory again keeps a record of all your trophies you've got a party mode um, which um, is a lot of fun as well and um, you can link up again with lots of different people and play loads of different games with that PlayStation Store as you'd expect you can get all your films you can get all your games downloaded so you've got a choice you can see you can buy your games in the shop on a small sort of um, cartridge which is similar in size to an SD card or you can download them from the PlayStation Store and as you can see not only can you get your games you can get your films etc on there you can also get sort of um, smaller games uh, things like um, Escape Plan um, which are um, sort of very reasonably priced around sort of £10 or so so going into photos and it's actually got um, two different um, cameras on the PlayStation one at the front and one at the back and it's got a video facility as well so you will be able to um, do some videoing as well it's not super high quality and there's my mug shot it's not super high quality um, but it is um, pretty decent and it's lots of fun you can take things to use in games etc so just coming out of that one Next up you can get onto the internet and um, again it's slightly better than the um, Nintendo, well it's a lot better than the Nintendo 3DS internet whereas you can, um, it's flash enabled so you've not got too many problems getting onto other things as I will show you 
which include things like Facebook and you can do live tweeting things like that on there as well now you can do that on the 3DS but it's a bit more limited so on this screen you can see you've got access to videos you've got remote play music all pretty self-explanatory um, if you're familiar with PlayStation 3 you'll be familiar with Content Manager and um, there's a whole load of other things you've got on the on the uh, PlayStation Vita you can change all your settings just by clicking into settings and uh, you've got other sort of um, apps that you can get like maps and there's also crossover play which will um, enable you to play with them um, link up with your sort of PlayStation 3 as well so you'll be able to play online and uh, remotely against people playing on PlayStation 3 so it's pretty clever stuff now um, obviously a lot of it's all going to be about the games what games can we get on the uh, PlayStation Vita and as you can see already it's got some very good games out and you've got things like Uncharted, Golden Abyss you've also got things like Unit 30 um, so if you're into your shooting style games you've got that available already there's a whole heap of more games coming out um, for the uh, PlayStation Vita this year one of the big releases is one which I've already got already on uh, Japanese import and that is Gravity Rush and um, then you've got other games available as you can see things like um, Ninja Gaiden whoops Ninja Gaiden which you may be familiar with from PlayStation and um, you've got sort of more fun games like Touch My Katamari you've got games like Hustle Kings which is a pool game classic things like Wipeout which has been brought up to date in Wipeout 2048 so already although it's only been out for a very short while there are a whole load of games available that are really good and as I said you can also get sort of more familiar titles like Lego, Lego Harry Potter and uh, this one here, Escape Plan, is one I downloaded for £10 from the uh, PlayStation Store. And it's a really great, fun puzzle game. And uh, very good value for money. So, just going to very briefly show you a game in action. And uh, that is um, just to give you an idea of the screen quality. Now, I'm filming in the daytime. And this is Rayman Origins, which is available on... Um, lots of different formats already but you can see even though this is the daytime you can see kind of the quality of the screen and you can still see it very clearly it really is very nice high resolution and um, even with me bringing it up sort of fairly close you can probably see just as a bit of a demo um, just how um, clear and colourful it looks and um, it is a very, very, very nice system. So, we will come to a con So the conclusions is very easy to reach. It's a really, really good console. Again, like the Nintendo 3DS, great handheld, handheld uh, console. And um, although obviously it's um, still at pretty much at its full price, I think it offers really good value for money. Uh, the advantage over the 3DS is obviously it's got a... Um, bigger screen it's more up to date it's um it's got better online facilities and things like social networking it's it's better for that sort of thing and the graphics capability is there as well obviously the the games are what it's all about and it's already got some great games out for it um so is it worth getting well definitely if you're a big PlayStation fan you're definitely going to be looking at it anyway and it really is it's almost like a PlayStation 3 in portable format so you know you've got, you've got many of the features of the PlayStation 3 and graphically it's it's pretty similar I would say in capability to the PlayStation 3 and uh, you've probably already seen from the um, games available similar type of games available to the PlayStation 3 but there are lots of um, other th sort of types of games coming out for it sort of aimed more at a wider sort of age range maybe and a different type of person maybe just to the sort of core PlayStation 3 player. So in summary it's really a great uh, handheld console and uh, definitely worth getting. So I would rate it at you know sort of 9 or 9.5 out of 10 and I would if you can afford it 
I would uh, trot on down to the shop and get one as soon as you can. So this has been Tim, 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 Tim at isthisanygood.com. Thanks for watching.